We already we all know that the mission of Toastmaster is to give uh, education tools of learning, different learning. And today we have a EPT evaluation workshop. Well, evaluation is a full part of the Toastmasters education learning program. And I would like to welcome everyone uh, to the workshop program. And so, so I would like to call the co presidents Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Welcome to this effective evaluation workshop <coughs> by our very own distinguished Toastmaster, Toastmaster Pandavadi. As we all know, evaluation is the most important part of any Toastmaster meeting. So, in today's session, we'll be learning about how to conduct the evaluation session effectively. So, let us welcome Toastmaster. Distinguished Toastmaster Khanu Dawadi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wonderful. <coughs> Today, being an unusual meeting, Sajjan and Arms forgot to tell everyone to switch off the mobile. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so please do that. Uh, this is. Uh, I, I recall some of you uh, being part of my uh, workshop, evaluation workshop. Uh, this is the third one. The first and second, some of you have attended. I still uh, recall Dosmaj uh, Chandrayan attending one of those. This is an improvised and customized uh, form of evaluation. So first, as we begin, let's just check. You should have sheets of paper in front of you. Make sure that you have every everyone. The first one, the climate questionnaire, if you have got. The second, handout B, Effective Evaluation Workshop. Uh, it's of five pages. Then the third one is Evaluate to Motivate. That is uh, section C. And there would be an evaluation form and the last one would be handout D, Effective Evaluation Reinforcement Checklist. Those are the forms that should be with you. So as we proceed in the process, uh, you will be needing those forms uh, to refer to. So if everything go is OK, I'm s I see some of the vacant seats. Uh, people will be coming in. So there would be some distraction, but we will have to bear with that. Let's <coughs> proceed with the workshop now and uh, almost the presiding officer and the sergeant arms also highlighted what is the purpose of toastmaster it's very clearly said the founding father of toastmaster did say no toastmaster club is fulfilling its obligations to its members unless it brings them the maximum of training in the art of constructive criticism Bluntly and crudely, if I say it, if a Toastmaster club does not have a training on evaluation, that's not a Toastmaster club. So all along, if we did not have evaluation training conducted in a Toastmaster club, that was not a Toastmaster club. That was probably was a dining club or a you know, celebration club. So the, Toastmaster, the essence of Toastmaster comes from the evaluation. So the constructive criticism, and that's an art that we should be learning about. And the, therefore, essence of Toastmaster is effective evaluation. <coughs> and the mission that we have taken here, at least in Nepal now, we are 30 clubs. I've been the longest serving member, and I've seen ups and downs and all seasons across <coughs> And I felt, and everyone, the com total community has felt that there is a need to enhance the way we conduct evaluations in the club. So that's the mission of the project. From the casualness of doing evaluations, can we do something differently and institutionalize the evaluation? That's the mission. So, Evaluation should not be taken very casually. It has 
it is a very serious affair and toastmaster has sustained 100 years of its life just because it worked on this evaluation effective evaluation therefore is a bloodline and we should be very careful therefore therefore my dream is and everyone's dream as a toastmaster is Excellence must be a consistent, a sustained feature of a club. The meaning being a <coughs> good meeting, a effective meeting, a learning meeting should not be an accident, a just a coincidence. It, it has to be part of a design. It has to happen. You must ensure that the each meeting that you conduct must be as learning as possible. So the excellence of a club, a club meeting should not be a coincidence. As a kosari kosari kustura ambro vayogi meeting, not that kind. You must be assured that each meeting is a learning meeting, exhilarating meeting, and it must change your life. Otherwise, it's all dining and coming and dining. So, so that's what, so that's the dream. And can we do that? And that can be only done if we emphasize on the effective evaluation. Therefore, this mission that I've taken, and how is that, how is that evaluation done is, can somebody read from the corner, uh, Toshmash Ashish? Encourage a member to come back to improvement. There are three components here. What are those three components? Encourage, encourage come, come back, back and improve. <coughs> you have to encourage a member in a such a way so that the member comes back improved, has to come back. You should not batter and bash and butcher the, the motivations of a speaker. <coughs> when you conduct an evaluation. Your evaluation must serve only this purpose. Encourage a member to come back improved. If, if a member comes back to the club without any change, then again, the effectiveness of evaluation is lost. So three components that we must ensure you deliver as an evaluator. <coughs> Now, now, this is the crux of the matter that we need to, every one of us must understand. The crux of the matter is, whose responsibility is evalu effective evaluation? Is it an individual evaluator who evaluates? Yes? No. So what, what, who, who is responsible for effective evaluation? Everyone. Everyone is club. Everyone is member. Everyone is member. As an evaluator, evaluator is also responsible. As a club, the club is also responsible. And each member. So the culture of a club also has got something to contribute to the effective evaluation. And the culture consists of the composition of the club the varieties of the member, their learnings, their belief system, everything. So the, the culture is one. The system, executive committee and the club members, how does a club do it effectively? That system is also equally important. And therefore, the individual evaluator also contributes. So you cannot put any limit to how much evaluator contributes, how much culture com contributes, and how much the evaluation system of a club contributes. It's a holistic. There, there, there cannot be clear line of difference where the complete, these three components make a complete whole. And that contributes to the member experience. <coughs> so if a member has come to the club to learn and improve, and how member feels in a being in a club has got major three components, I call it. First, how evaluator evaluates, 
how the club has nurtured the system of evaluation and how the composition of a club, the total membership, how the culture is taken care of in a club. That's clear? Yes. Now, now we will look at those components. Now each of you will look at, look at the first form. <coughs> Take two minutes of your time just to read, keeping in mind the club that you are part of. And give a marks to each, circle the point do not think much, just once read it, give a point. Just mark what do you think your club best represent. Just give a circle to each point. After you read this question, give a circle and we will see where we go to. I'll give you two minutes. How about the guests? Like, you know, I don't have much One being the highest? Suit. No, Rick. It's okay. One being the highest and five being the least? Yes. Five no, being the, five five being the highest. Five but there are the questions are put, you know, each, against each other. Mm -hmm. So it seems like if you put, uh, if you circle the five, it looks like you are giving a least, least bad. Negative. 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 So, so just read and whatever comes in your mind, the impression okay. that you have of the club, just circle that. Does one mean highest or five? Yes. One, 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 one is highest. It's already given. Yes. Five. <coughs> If you can add and take the average of, yeah. just add the points that you have circled mm -hmm. and uh, divide by 10 will give us the average. Just put down the average on top of the paper. Anybody who got three and above, three and above, <coughs> just just add the number that you have circled and uh, <coughs> uh, divide by ten will give you the average that your assessment is. Two point four. Two point four. One point eight. One point eight. Very good. Two two five zero. So, in average, if you look at the kind of culture that we have in club, is a pretty good. 
Not that bad. Okay. Yes? Yes. Yes. So 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 this this is something that you should scan the kind of culture that we have. Uh, now let's proceed to the other one. Now I call it The Toastmaster Club, where you have to nurture the public speaking and leadership of a member. Now, there is an expectation of a member. When a member comes to the club, there is an expectations. And does the club deliver to that expectations? Across the time that I've been part of Toastmasters, I've seen the evaluations ranging from roasting to toasting to, you know, at times, the evaluation that the evaluators give does not meet the expectation of a member. And here in the regular club meeting, a member must get the positive, constructive, areas to improvement adequately so that one continuously improves. So rather than delivering a speech by an evaluator, the evaluator has to serve the purpose of a member. And that's, that's so it has to be phrased in a such a way so that the speaker must get the centrality in the process of feedback means the whose purpose must be served when you give an evaluation because the members, members purpose yeah. members must be purpose, members purpose must be served you must understand what are the expectations of the member what do you want to be seen in your speech Unless I understand what Toastmaster Kumar's expectation is, what he is looking for, what he wants to improve, if I'm just blank, I do not know who Mr. Toastmaster Kumar is and what he, speeches that he is giving, and if I make my evaluations my performance project, 